Santa's Boot Camp is a pretty good film. It's certainly a very fun way to get into the festive spirit. This was released in 2016. It's directed by Ken Feinberg. And it's written by Kelly Nettles, Ken Feinberg and Mimi Fontaine. And this is about some children who are not very nice. Well, they're teenagers and they're maybe above the age of believing in Santa Claus. But nevertheless, some elves decide to strike because they're fed up of the way bratty children are behaving. And we then have these six teenagers who are roped in instead to try and save Christmas with this Santa boot camp, if you like. And obviously the main message here is that you shouldn't behave so bratty and self-centered. And the teenagers each have an opportunity. I won't say too much about it, but we have this great scene where they're forced to face their behaviors. And we have real examples of things they've done wrong. There is one that I don't agree with. There is one that I think wasn't actually a negative behavior, and I will, with a spoiler warning, go into more detail about that. But in general, they are behaving pretty terribly, and we have some really important lessons there. And it's a race against time as they have to try and convince the elves to come back, change their ways, and save Christmas. Obviously, because it's set around Santa's workshop, we have... So many Christmas elements, even the blankets that the elves sleep under are very festive and I rather like that. The costumes are absolutely stunning, visually very festive, such a delight. I love the hair of the elves as well. They either have loads of bows or they're covered in glitter, just absolutely adored that aspect of it. And Santa was pretty great as well, I really liked Santa, he's played by Doug Kay. So in terms of being a festive film, it's great. And I say that because sometimes there are films that call themselves Christmas films and they're not necessarily very Christmassy. But this one, absolutely very, very festive. The characters are all either really likable or in terms of the, the teenagers, certainly to begin with, they were not very nice characters, most of them, but they are well written and the performances are very good. The pacing of the narrative is great, gets to the point immediately, plenty of time to flesh out the narrative and get to know the characters, and the elves in particular I thought were rather fabulous. The elves are actually all played by much younger children, and I think they did a really brilliant job. So I liked it. I was surprised to see it only has 3.1 out of 10 on IMDb, Though that is only across 211 reviews and ratings, which is not the largest pool of opinions, I definitely think it deserves at least a five, five something, maybe even higher, because I honestly didn't think there was anything about this that wasn't good. It may not be the best film ever, it may not be the most amazing story, but the performances were good, the characters were well written. It's very, very festive, a great amount of Christmas in this, the costumes were gorgeous, there's glitter everywhere. I can't complain, there isn't anything about this that I can point to as being badly done. And if you're looking for a fun, festive film, then Santa's Book Camp is definitely a good one to go with. It's a very easy watch, but with some important lessons in there as well, and I think they did a really good job with it. So absolutely recommend it. I probably wouldn't watch it a second time, but as a one-time watch, I thought it was pretty decent. I will now explain the teenager who I thought hadn't actually done anything wrong. Maybe they didn't go about it the right way, but I actually don't completely disagree with it. So this is the last thing I have to say about the film. And I'm not really complaining. I do like the fact that we had a variety of different negative behaviours for the teenagers. But this one, I feel like it should have been the other way on. So last thing I have to say, huge spoiler for one of the scenarios. Well, a moderate spoiler, but a spoiler nevertheless. And this is the fact that one of the teenagers was considered self-centered and on Santa's naughty list because he told on his friend. His best friend, they're both very intelligent, but his best friend admitted to him that she'd been cheating at chemistry because she just wasn't understanding it. And he decided to tell on her, basically. And that's the behaviour that made him on Santa's naughty list and part of this pack of teenagers doing Santa's boot camp. I don't think that that makes any sense to me. The way he went about it, yeah, I don't think that was brilliant. 
But at the same time, he's not the one who's done the wrong thing. I think he should have been the one to cheat. And the lesson there should have been, don't cheat. Whereas it seems like he comes off negatively in this scenario, but it was his friend who was doing the bad thing. And again, I don't necessarily agree with the way he went about telling people what had happened, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think he should have had that burden of knowing she was cheating. So I don't know. I don't agree that that should have been the reason why he was there. I think it would have made more sense if he'd been the cheater. And then he could have learned the lesson that you can't cheat. So I didn't love that. But the rest of it, really, really well done. Santa's Boot Camp is a fun, festive, easy watch. And if it sounds like it would appeal to you, then I say it's definitely worth watching.